Yes, sir, Baby Powder 5.1, live from Rolling Loud. Yo, look who I ran into. Come My brother on. Boz, what's up, bro? Man, it's good to be here. You know, it's mad funny, so I'm on air now, right? And I started doing my overnights, and like a weekend, I'm like, I'm scrolling through like the log, seeing what songs Wait, coming I've seen it, it's called like night. Two to five a.m., night mode, yeah. Night mode, yeah. Why you say name in night job and give me a look? <laughs> Yo, and when I was scrolling through it, I saw the Jackie. And yeah. I freaked the fuck out because I was, yo, I've been talking in and out of the Jackie for like a month now. My nigga. And then every time I talk out of it, I feel like we got something new to say. You number eight, what was it? Last year was number 18 added to Urban Radio. Yeah, it's at like, I think like 13 or something right now. It keep moving up. And I'm seeing like the Jackie performing at the shows, people singing the lyrics, like the whole crap. Yeah. I'm, and while I'm watching this, I think about how when we did our last interview, it was just the beginning of the Jackie. And now we're here, and it's so beautiful to see the evolution of this record Yo, in person. Thank you, bro. It's cool, man. We went into it wanting to try something new. Like, I think for the majority of my career, I've been like very much album driven. Yeah. Which has built me like a loyal fan base, a touring fan base. But I told myself, like, yo, you know, I want bigger hits. I want those joints, you know? And I went in trying to make those records. And the Jackie was like, kind of like my first attempt of consciously thinking that, you know? Of right. consciously thinking, I want to make a single that fits, you know, within my artistic integrity, mm -hmm. but can like grow my sound, you know? So it's cool to, it's always a reminder, bro. Like when you put your mind to something and you execute and stay like faithful to your vision, even across like insecurities and doubts, that it's just worth it. It's more gratifying to do it this way. I don't mean to fucking wax poetic. Nah, keep, I, I, bro, but, I love sitting but down with you. Because our first talk was at the beginning of it. Yeah. And to see where we are now, it it's just beautiful. reinforces my theory of like, yo, you gotta, you gotta know what you want. You gotta go for what you want. You know what I mean? Like unapologetically go for what you want. Work. Because even in our interview, you were telling me how this was like a little out of the box of what you normally do. You know what I'm saying? For you, it was something different. And like, and I was like, nah, bro, I think that this is like, this is exciting, this is fun, like, I, and I love it, and I love how it translated from being a summer record to even something now. Right. You feel me? Like, going from Brooklyn to Queens, like, going to meet you new, like, your cuffing season, like, I seen people talking it's about it, I town. love that. It's definitely for the town. And I'm glad, like, you know, it was received that way, like, I see people all the time that are like, yo, I, I live off the Jackie. Like, right. I'm off this exit off the Jackie. I'm off this exit off the Jackie. Like, that's ill to me, you know, because I know, like, it's in the fabric of our lives. It's a shared experience that me and and like other New Yorkers have. Like, oh yeah, that's part of our lives. It's part of our daily. Like, that's part of our upbringing. So you know, those are the kind of songs you want to make. Word. And my favorite part is when I talk out of it. Half the time, it'll go. The next record will be like a pop smoke record. So what I always would be like, I'm like, yo, in the spirit of the Jackie Rob and my brother Boz, we're so we gonna go from Queens to Brooklyn on this one, and R. then I'd hit the pop smoke record, R. and it just felt right. Hell yeah. Like, even the That's way that Ill. the record would get sequenced on the radio, I'd That's be like, oh Ill. man. That's fine. Like, it, yeah. like, I know Boz didn't intend for it to be this sequence, because obviously, like, you're not the one programming the radio, but right. when it would happen, I'd be like, oh man, this is perfect. They yeah, man, it's for New York. And 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 rest in peace to pop you know he Long gave the city pop, an yeah. energy that had been lacking you know he yeah. really like took it to the world and that's something you know we always got to appreciate bro and respect that like that's ill you know gone too soon but the kid left a, a crazy legacy you know for someone his age so it's just dope you know as a city to, to rally around him rally around each other you know what i mean and just keep the shit pushing for new york word and when uh when we did our interview and I even got up with Tutu a few weeks ago, you know we've had this constant conversation about y'all two working together. But today was the first day that y'all actually got to meet in person. Yeah, for real. And I fuck with bros' music, man. Like I really fuck with bros' music. And it's funny in New York, like there's like a lot of politics I'm not a part of. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's a lot of shit I'm not a part of. But it's like when it comes to just the music, you know, I'd like to see like all this crap. Right. Just be a little more collaborative. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like like we could as a city we can do something incredible. You know what I mean? But it's just so much friction everywhere. You look, you know, so so me as like a neutral party, yeah. I just wanna be able to make like good music with everybody. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like just let everybody showcase their talent. Everybody make good music. Like Tutu's a nigga I think is incredible. You know what I mean? Like he's an incredible rapper, his music is great. Like I want to collab with him. I want to collab with a lot of people that's like up 
coming and doing shit for the city, you know what I mean? Word. And you got a couple, we know we got the Gunner song on the way. Um, why can we expect some new music from you, Boz? I know it's been a while since the Jaggy drive. We still riding the Jaggy yeah. through and through. Yeah. Now, me and Gunner got a single coming. Then I'm going to try to just wrap up my album, get that out. But I got some Lucy's I want to throw out, you know? Yeah. Just want to feed. Just to kind of feed the base. Get the people a little stuff. Because we spoke about feeding I'm people, a, too. I'm going to send you some shit because they, they, they really left. Yo, and I tell they everybody, really you know when you send me records, that shit don't get leaked at all. That shit stays no, in my phone. Nobody gets I'm that shit. I'm trying to get your ear, my boy. Well, look, I appreciate you stopping by to chop it up with me real quick. Um, congratulations on the success of the Jackie. The next time we talk about this, I already know the Jackie going to be even higher on Urban Radio. We, it's going to be gold. Come it's going to be platinum. It's going to be there. To the moon. To the We're moon. Going crypto with the Jackie. <laughs> 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 well, look, I appreciate you. Anything else that people got to know, now's the time to go ahead and let them know. Man, Rolling Loud, New York, this is the energy. We back outside. What more could you want? That's all you got to know. What more could you want? Boz, Pound of 5.1, Gay PMYC, my brother, I appreciate you. No doubt, bro. Let's get it. Yes, sir. <laughs>